Good morning, everybody. Uh, happy cold uh, Saturday morning. Welcome to our final Breakfast Club of 2022. We are glad that you are here. Good morning, Mom. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Pat up in Idaho. You guys have been getting a lot of snow. Uh, let's see who else is here. Hi, Polly in Louisiana. Good morning, Susan up in Oregon. Hi, Christy. Uh, good morning, Kathy in Florida. Thank you for joining us. Hello, Cransons. Good morning. Hi, Ann. Um, good morning, Sue. Hello, Cronny. Hello. Shout out, Kelly. Uh, let's see who else did I see there. So welcome to our final Breakfast Club of 2022. We're excited about it. Um, might be a little bit quicker. We have some new things to announce for 2023, so we're excited about that. We're going to do a year in review. We have a uh, fantastic uh, slideshow. Everybody's been busy. Um, I'm sure we'll see many more pictures next time when uh, Christmas gifts have been given, but we've got a great slideshow for you. Uh, let's uh, give it up to Irene for my Christmas shirt. So this is the Vintage Pinup Girls. I have been waiting all year to wear this shirt. Um, I wanted to wear it on um, our Tipsy Tuesday and our Mystery Monday, but I saved it for Breakfast Club. So uh, thank you again, Irene, for another fantastic shirt. This was probably the third or fourth shirt that she made. And so I've just had to not wear it all year and it has been bugging me. So uh, good, morning, um, good morning, Carla up in Oregon. Um, hi, Gloria up in Martinez. Good morning, Cindy, part of our six pack over on the coast. I'm sure somewhere our six pack is around, um, it might even be an eight pack over in um, the Ridgecrest area. So welcome to everybody. So we're going to, we have a lot of fun stuff. Um, we're excited about what we are going to do uh, for 2023 to start it off. We had been back and forth on the fence um, of some things we were going to do with Breakfast Club, but after um, lots of conversations with the girls, we um, are going to continue Breakfast Club because it is something that everybody loves and we really do enjoy doing it. It's a lot of work um, because there is the whole process of coming up with the ideas, creating the ideas, test sewing the ideas, um, Marissa doing graphics and writing patterns, and then um, we have to make sure the pattern is correct. And so there's a lot that goes into it. And we went back and forth about what direction we wanted to go. But ultimately, I think Breakfast Club might be starting at seventh year for 2023. So I believe we're going on our seventh year of Breakfast Club, which is um, and sounds insane, but it is where we are. So we're excited about that. So yes, we are going to continue it. Good morning, Lini. Good morning, Cheryl. Um, oh, there's my, uh, there's my Ridgecrest girl. So good morning, Karen, Terry, Norma, and Diana. Hello, Carol up in Fresno. Um, so I think, hello, Carol Lee. She's also, for, I think you're Clovis, maybe Fresno, either one, doesn't matter. Um, so I think what we'll do is we're going to jump in to the slideshow. And then after the slideshow, we're going to do a year in review um, of what we did this year because we do have new, um, new people every month that are joining Breakfast Club. Um, we have new people that are just joining and watching Breakfast Club. So we're going to kind of review the fun things that we've done all year. So let's head over and do the slideshow. Did I not add the slideshow? Add the slideshow. It's on there. Just hit the plus and add the asset for me. We're going to go right into our slide show. Uh, give us just one second. Apparently, our, our um, slide show did not connect, which is an easy fix, so no big deal. Sorry about that. So we should be ready to uh, go right now. All right, so welcome to our December slideshow. Uh, it decided it was not going to connect first off. So let's start with Tracy Ross up in Oregon. So um, Tracy finished the um, Just Chill uh, Snowman. This was a fabric confetti design. So great job there. That's a kit that we had put together. Um, everything embroidered and quilted in the hoop. So great job. Norma over in Ridgecrest, she got uh, her Christmas project done from last month's Breakfast Club. This project turned out way more popular than we thought it was going to be. So great job, Norma. Karen, also part of our um, 
Ridgecrest group. So this is a tree skirt that she made. She has been doing a monthly um, long arm class. So she did all the quilting on her long arm. It is fabulous. And then she finished her, um, this is a winter, I don't remember what she said the name of it was, but um, she did all the quilting on it. She did all of the blocks are hand embroidered. So that's a fantastic uh, project that she wrapped up there. Marvell, these are, oh my goodness, Marvell. I can't remember what these are. These have something to do, I don't remember. I just don't even remember. I'm not even going to try to butcher it. But I know that these are for grandkids. And then she did um, these pillows. And of course, in her note to me, they have their zippered back. And then she's been using Breakfast Club projects all year as gifts, as shower gifts, wedding gifts, birthday gifts. So she made quite a few of the drying mats. And then she um, just embellished the, um, some towels with the fabrics that she had chosen. There's a quilt that she got wrapped up. It's another project she finished a quilt. And then one more using cute Santa Claus fabric. And then one more final quilt. So she has been busy. Sandy Gong uh, finished in her sunflower quilt. So that turned out beautiful. Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. So Tommy's part of the six pack and this is really fun. So she has the great big box there saying December 5th, 2022. I don't remember the year that she started this, but um, I'm going to tell you it was greater than five. This is the original queen size Hosta from Quiltworks in the original Hoffman colorway. She's been working on it and she works on it at retreats and she uh, finished it up and it is spectacular. Well worth the time and effort that she put into this one. Last month, she showed a bunch of placemats. Um, she does placemats for the senior um, Meals on Wheels group. And so they get placemats and she always flips one over. But she wanted to point out on this one, we taught the spiky table runner class um, a couple of times this year. And she used it and made a placemat out of it, just making uh, four blocks. So that was a really great way to do that. Here is a panel quilt that was a one of the three yard quilt patterns. And then her quilter put turtles on the uh, for the long arm quilting. So she wanted to show a close up of that. And then here is another example of her placemats. So she does um, a holiday theme on one side and then a completely different fabric. So people can turn their placemats and use them um, for more than just the the Christmas season. Over there on the left, it looks like she's been making some more of the Christmas trees. I know those are going into gifts. She said she was assembly line, assembly lining them. So there is the placemats again, all face up with her Christmas trees. Clark has been busy. So this was the Thimbletown tote. He modified it to add the embroidery in the middle. So he took the middle section and added an imported block. So that is side one. And then there is side two. So he got that uh, Thimbletown tote completed. And then this was a, um, a trivia winner. So they do a trivia at his work every time. And so he's always making um, gifts and the, um, for them. So that is the contest winner there. And then this was a really fun project. Um, he actually gave one to me also. So this is just freestanding lace Halloween ornaments. And then he put little magnets on them. And then he did it kind of like bobbing for apples. You were trying to get it. Um, they did it for their grandkids, um, like get the ghost and you do the fish hook to go down. So very fun. And then he wanted to be a smart aleck to me in his notes because I recently got a ghost and a skeleton um, backwards, and he asked me if I could tell which one was the ghost and which one was the skeleton <laughs> in this picture. So that's the fun part about this business, and is we get to know everybody and we can tease each other, and that's what makes um, this even more fun to do. So Diana finished up her Christmas tree, um, and then she did some... Uh, 
a lot of quilting on that. And then she put, it looks like crystals or rhinestones on the star um, to give it some extra bling as well as on the Christmas tree. So not only does she have the Christmas lights on there, she did some extra bling. She's got some snowflakes on there. So really fun project there. And then there are a bunch of Christmas gifts um, with personalized tags for everybody. So I think that's really fun to not only make the gift bag, but then to make some sort of um, embroidery to go along with it. She did embroidered um, napkins and then embroidered um, napkin rings. So that's a freestanding lace uh, napkin rings. And then she did lace edged uh, napkins. So those turned out fantastic. And then she also did um, the gingerbread and snowmen candy holders so that their bellies are clear vinyl. So you can see the candy that you put in them. So fun gifts to give to people. Leanie, of course, busy as normal. So she wrapped up this table topper from Kimberbell, followed by all of these projects. So we've got freestanding lace pumpkins, and we have turkeys that are uh, very similar to the ones Diana did there with the uh, clear bellies. There are some um, coasters that we did. So that was a kid in the middle, the fall leaf coaster. She's got some more coasters there to the left. She's got a stay cozy pillow in the back, a freestanding lace turkey, which is super cool. Now that I, I didn't see that originally in there, that freestanding turkey is pretty neat. So she of course has always been busy. There is her, um, her cup of cheer quilt that she finished up. And then um, she laughed and we were laughing on the email. She did this Christmas pillow with no embroidery because Lini does so much embroidery, but she said she can sew also. Um, and then here are all of her pillows and bench pillows that are all holiday themed. So she is more than well decorated for the season. Christy McAdoo has been busy. So this is the pictures from the North Pole tiered tray event that we did. So we made all of these little, um, there were presents and a pillow and there were um, lace snowflakes to go over the lights. And then there was the star employee Rudolph and there was the naughty and nice list and Mrs. Mrs. Claus. And then it all went into this cool tiered tray. She wrapped up this butterfly project. Um, she did do the quilting herself um, on her machine. And I thought this was a fun take. So this was, Last year, we did the All Hearts Come Home for Christmas. So she got rid of the text. And this is a really great way. I love when people are changing up projects. So it's still the same house, but she added her own font at the bottom to say Merry Christmas. And then she put Mickey and, Min uh, Mickey and Minnie in the sleigh um, out delivering the project. So I thought that was a really fun take on a project. Margie did this brand. Um, so these are mug rugs with a um, brand. And I don't know if it was her brand or a family or friend brand, but those are really cool gifts. Um, she did the gift card holder that we showed and did the free pattern for um, uh, Tipsy Tuesday. So that was the gift card holder. She did it in baseball fabric. This was a um, embroidery project from Kimberbell last year that was the man bag. She got that wrapped up. And then I got to tell you, I thought this was the coolest thing because there's people that love football. There's people that love baseball. There's people that love it all. So this is a our January Breakfast Club project, which was our XO pillow. So she switched out the fabric into green for the grass. And if you can tell, the O is all baseball fabric. Um, so love baseball. She applied a baseball onto the corner of it. And then she did baseball fabric. So that is definitely going to um, a baseball fan for sure. So a great way to change our uh, project and to make it uh, work for your needs there. Sue um, finished up this great um, Christmas quilt. So gingerbread presents, candy. Uh, she finished up this really pretty project. She finished up these two um, wall hangings. These were classes that we did um, with uh, Vanessa from Fabric Confetti. 
She did her Christmas project from last month. And then another Christmas tree project. And then, of course, my mom's been busy, so she finished up her uh, Ginger's Kitchen bench pillow. My mom doesn't use them as bench pillows. She makes them as wall hangings. Um, for different areas in her house. So I know that's in her kitchen. These are pillow backs uh, for a gift exchange that she did. I love seeing everybody do the zipper uh, uh, back method. They do make for very nice um, finished projects. There's a couple pictures of the fronts of the pillows. There's some more of the pillows that she did for her gift exchange. There is the um, No Place Like Home pillow class that we did. This was also a Kimberbell event. Once again, she turns them into wall hangings. She wrapped up um, her apple wall hanging from a previous breakfast club. And then she also did her tiered tray. So she's got it all, added all that fun greenery and made it real pretty. And then Terry Evangelo up in Hanford, she finished up uh, last month's project. So congratulations, or I should say thank you guys for finishing all your projects and sending them in. You guys did a great job. We do love to see what everybody is doing. Um, let me just check since I was away. Let's see. So good morning, Joe. Hi, Marvell. Um, good morning, Debbie. Hi, Diane. Hello, Jenny. Good morning, Marsha. Good morning, uh, Robin. So yes, um, it looks like um, everything, um, everybody likes the project. So show and tell is so important to Breakfast Club. And remember, whether you purchase a monthly kit from us or not, we still encourage you to send in your projects because people do like to see what everybody's working on. So we thought we would do um, just a quick year in review of the things that we have done. So we started Breakfast Club this year with our Valentine's XO pillow. So we used uh, velveteen, and then of course we had all of the pretty um, white fabric. We did do the zipper cover. So um, a very fun um, project there. So that's where we started um, Breakfast Club. And then I'm gonna, I may get these out of order, um, for the most part, because I don't know where I put my note. But then we went on and we did the table topper for St. Patrick's Day. We don't do a ton of St. Patrick's Day stuff because it is so short because of uh, Valentine's Day. So we don't typically, people usually go from decorating for Valentine's to Easter. So we did the St. Patrick's Day table topper, which I think was a lot of fun for us to do. Then we followed up with probably one of my favorite projects of the year. <laughs> and I don't know why, but everybody thinks I'm crazy. But this was our carrot door hanger with the three-dimensional carrots. And it was just a lot of fun. I've seen some people do other things with that. So that we went from there. Then, hmm? oh, and then we did, you guys saw in the um, slideshow, Marvell did drying mats. And she's not the only one that has been making drying mats. I've had customers that have like travel trailers. They take them to the beach. They take them all over. They've made them in there. They've made them for gifts. So we did the drying mat that had the accompanying cherry tea towel to go with it. Uh, so we went there and then, oh, the makeup bag. So this is funny. So Amy got to take this makeup, this, a, this one home. And Amy uses this. And I know there are other people. I know Christy Cranston changed hers up to suit her need for her hand embroidery. But this was the makeup roll bag. Um, so I'm gonna make sure I don't try to knock anything out. It had like the little brush cover. And so it's neat to see um, these things um, not only um, be given as gifts, but then to also be used. So we did the makeup roll bag followed by the checkers. So this was the roll up checker mat. It has zippers on each side. In here were the buttons. I can hear them in there. Um, and I have seen multiple people make those as gifts. Even Irene um, made those as some gifts um, for people. So that was really fun. And then we went to the apples. Oh, we went to the knot bag. Um, so the knot bag was a really fun. We used Tula Pink of the uh, Painted Roses fabric. Um, so the knot bag we did next, which was fun. Also have seen... 
people make multiple versions of this. So from not bag, we went to the apples. So somebody put in the comments uh, in the emails to me. Um, and I try to remember everything that you guys say as I put the slideshow together. But the apples was the wall hanging. I think my mom showed one. I'm not sure if somebody else did. But somebody said they turned the apples and stacked it like a Christmas tree. So I don't know if they used the apples for it. I'm hoping we get to see a picture of that in the next uh, Breakfast Club uh, show and tell. So I'm not sure who had said that, but that really kind of actually got me thinking about something else that I might want to do as a project for something else next year. So that was another fun project. So we went from the apples to thankful. Oh, apples to pumpkins. And so the pumpkins were here. So the pumpkins were done on the quilter's grid. We use the quilter's grid for the um, checkers, and then we use it again for the pumpkins. And I've seen these pumpkins done in a couple different ways. Um, I saw my mom made individual pumpkins. Um, I have seen people do individual pumpkins. People turn them so they were vertical. People did put the faces on them. So we had given the option of making it more of a um, fall themed pumpkins, or we gave you guys the graphics if you wanted to put and turn them into jack o' lanterns. So there were some options there. Then we went into the thankful banner. Um, and I have seen um, people show us pictures of the thankful banner with other words on it. So we actually gave everybody on that month, we gave you the full alphabet in that font. So if you wanted to do something that said celebrate or birthday or be mine or whatever you would want to do. Uh, we have seen you guys do other things like that. And then we went into the Christmas tree, which was fun because we found the really cute miniature lights to kind of embellish it with. And then in a few minutes, I'll show you guys what we are doing for December, um, which really is super, super cute. So, um, Oh, Christy um, keeps her hers hanging all year. So she says, I'm not crazy about the carrots. So thank you, Christy, for um, making me not feel crazy, I guess. Jeremy laughs at me all the time because he just is like, why do you need the carrots hanging for Easter? And I said, because I think they're cute. So um, this month we're working on um, all of our 2023 things. So the next table topper of the month from Riley Blake is this one so as you guys can see it is in all the blues it is very um snowy and wintry i quilted uh snowflakes all over it so that is in there along with all of the other table toppers that we have remaining we still have some christmas ones we still have a few of the thanksgiving ones so those table toppers are on our website um they might be in mystery monday i'm going to lose this contact um, they might be in Mystery Monday or they might, um, not Mystery Monday, Breakfast Club, or they're just in the regular website under kits. Mm -hmm. So we have it there, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh, they are in both spots. So the table toppers of the month, remember those are 36 inches square. They come with all of the fabric to make the front and the binding along with a full color pattern in the collector Riley Blake box. It's got the magnetic closure. So um we all definitely love those hello paula long time no see minka good morning um okay so what else do i have here oh so if you need some last minute christmas gifts obviously on the website we have um obviously you guys can get gift certificates in store you guys can get gift certificates um uh, directly on the website. So, and if you need to call and get a web uh, gift certificate for somebody, there's plenty of time for us to get those out. Really quickly, while I'm thinking about that, let me put up our Christmas hours for next week. So we're going to be here um, our normal Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We are going to close at three o'clock on Friday, and then we will be closed on Christmas Eve. So uh, you'll want to get um, your husbands and your kids to get in and get those gift certificates or any of those last minute gifts. We did get another shipment of the mini project iron. So we have 
them in the turquoise color and then in the yellow color. So if you've been wanting one of these project irons and you want to treat yourself for Christmas, now is the time. Or once again, husbands and kids. We also have in there like the misters. Um, so just some little last minute Christmas gifts. Um, are Hush Fat Quarter Bundles, which is my favorite low volume from Riley Blake. So lots of background choices in there. And then of course, um, another fun little gift is our um, Thimbletown vacuum. So it's a keyboard vacuum. You can vacuum around your machine. Um, I use it on my cutting mat um, when I'm trimming all kinds of little stuff. Um, sometimes we trim like the velveteen and it sheds a little bit. So the vacuums are on there also. Of course, those are Thimbletown branded, so they are really fun. So I think we're doing two giveaways today, okay? So we always give away next month's Breakfast Club. Um, for anybody that has purchased the Breakfast Club kit, they go into a drawing and the girls draw that out. Um, somebody though, instead of winning breakfast club, um, is going to win breakfast club for all of 2023. So that's exciting. Um, we do have our breakfast club subscription, um, special back up onto the website. So if you guys go in and you purchase your breakfast club subscription for the year, you are getting two months for free. Now you can still purchase these individually. You can purchase a six month subscription or you can purchase a one year subscription. If you purchase a one year, you're only paying for 10 months. You're getting two months for free. Then you don't have to think about it and you guys uh, just get your package every month. So those are back on there. So breakfast club subscription, once again, uh, 12 months, you get two months free. There's a six month subscription or you can continue to purchase um, individually as you choose. Uh, sometimes we have breakfast club um, items left over and we always let you know this month there are no leftovers, um, which always excites me because um, I know everybody loves them. And so depending on the time of the year, but there are no leftovers today. We do not sell these patterns outside of Breakfast Club, nor do we sell the kits outside of Breakfast Club unless we have them kit, um, kitted. Those of you that are on here today that are new, just as a reminder, when you get your Breakfast Club package, um, it will have inside of it, other than thread um, and notions, it has everything that you'll ever need to make it. So I'll give you an example. Um, the Christmas tree here, it had the batting in there. It had all the fabric to make the front and back. It had a dowel to do the hanging with. It had uh, the embellishments. When we did the um, checkers, it had the zippers, the um, elastic for tying it. It had the quilter's grid, the buttons. So everything that you need to complete the project with the exception of your time, thread, and notions um, is in there. So if we put buttons on something, you get the buttons, et cetera. So we want these to be complete projects for you as you do it. So um, somebody is once again going to win and it'll be from the people that purchased the Breakfast Club kits. Uh, we always give away, once again, one Breakfast Club. So Amy will draw that here in a few minutes um, and we will do it. The other thing we're giving away, um, normally we give away a $20 gift certificate for show and tell. Um, we're doing something different and it's a huge giveaway um, today for our show and tell. So we how do I go backwards and say this? So we are always planning, planning, planning. There are always all kinds of things to do. When COVID came about, Breakfast Club used to be in person. We had to pivot because we couldn't do in person and we continued Breakfast Club online. And it has been, um, once again, we really do love it despite all of the work that we do. We have done summer class pass online. We've just done all kinds of things um, virtually and our customers are all over the country. We know that we um, have to continue and we want to continue to do things virtually because we have gained so many customers and so many friends um, over the last two and a half, uh, almost three years now of doing virtual. 
So we will be um, bringing more and more virtual things to uh, Thimbletown um, starting next month. Um, and when I say more things, a lot more things. We will bring um, Summer Class Pass, a new and improved version of Summer Class Pass next year. We're starting a new monthly program. I'm going to show you here shortly. Those of you that follow us on our embroidery side, whether it's things that we do um, live or on our Mystery Mondays, we have some really fantastic programs that um, the girls and I have really, I almost want to say blood, sweat, and tears we put on it because there might have been a few tears shed as we were developing um, these things. Those of you that follow our Mystery Monday group and our Tipsy Tuesday group, um, you guys will notice um, I share a lot of things in there. I kind of sometimes go a little behind the, behind the scenes on how we create things. So those of you that are part of Mystery Monday, you don't want to miss Monday. It is going to be fantastic. So let's talk about um, something that we're starting in January. And I think you guys are going to love it. Um, I love it. So I guess that's all that matters because I'm the one that has to do it. I'm the one behind the camera doing it. But um, we're in it. So we are introducing... And that is one graphic I don't think I put in there. Did I, Marissa? Yeah. Did I put it in there? So let's bring up this graphic. We are introducing Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. And this is going to be a 12-month mystery project where each month is going to be a different table runner. So it'll be Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, and then it'll be January, February, March, April, May, June all the way through. So that is guess who's coming to dinner. And this is how it's going to work. And I think you guys are absolutely going to love it. So each month we are going to release. So we'll release the requirements for it on the breakfast club before next. So I'm introducing the January today. We'll also obviously put it out in emails. We'll do other social media um, with it. So what we're going to do is guess who's coming to dinner. It is a mystery table runner, and this is how it's going to work. You must buy the pattern. So I want to say the patterns are $13, um, or Marissa put it in where you can buy the whole year up front, and you're going to get a 13th uh, pattern for free. So it'll be 13 total patterns for the price of the year subscription, okay? So it's a little bit of a discount on each month that you're going to get. Starting on the first Thursday of each month, you are going to wake up to an email and a video, and it will give you the clue to what you are making, and you will then make those components. And then on the next Thursday, you're going to get another clue, maybe two clues, um, and you will make those components, and it will continue on. Um, and then on the very last Thursday, your video will show you the final clue and the final table runner. These are all great projects. I think you guys will love them. They are beginner friendly. So what I mean by that is if you can use a rotary cutter and cut squares and rectangles and strips, and you can do basic piecing with quarter inch, um, you can make any of these projects. They are not so basic that they are boring, but they are not so advanced that um, that people would not want to do them. So they are right there for the majority of us that fall right in the middle um, in the world. So the example will be, they all will require usually three or four fabrics. So you will get um, with your first clue what your fabric requirements are, and it will give you a black and white version. And I'll give you an example. So on our first month, this is our kit for the first month, and it requires um, what they're calling a background. So here is our background. It's white with all this really blue fun. It needs a dark, which we're using navy blue. And then it needs a um, medium, which is um, in the project and also the border. So we will denote where it's going to go. Um, so this is our focus fabric. Then when we do the kits for you, they will also include the backing, which is this piece here, which is from the line. So we have a background, 
we have a dark, we have a medium, and then we have a backing. And of course, our kits always have binding. Message Nathan for me. Make sure he's okay because it's... Anyway, sorry about that. Um, so it's three fabrics. Some of them might make four fabrics, okay? So look, guess who's coming to dinner? You have to buy the pattern to participate. By buying the pattern, these are will be emailed to you. There is no physical item that will come to you unless you purchase the kit. Now, there's a whole lot of you that are going to purchase the kit. And then there's a whole lot of you that are going to purchase a kit and make a second one out of your stash. And then there's another bunch of you that are going to use what is in your stash. Um, so it is that. So just to kind of give you an idea, I think it was like a half a yard, three quarters of a yard, and maybe a half, or maybe it was three quarters, three quarters and a half. So we're not talking about a ton of fabric. So as we are putting the, uh, these together every month, we have filmed the steps that go. So you get the clue and video instruction on what to do at the last Thursday of each month, your table runner will be ready to assemble. To give you an example of the time commitment, this table runner, according to the designer, not to me, but to the designer, should take the average person between four and six hours to complete. So if you're doing a, which is basically an hour a week, so you get your clue, I'm just gonna use Chrissy as an example. She gets off work, she goes home. Um, Thursday afternoon, she prints out her clues, she sews for an hour, and then she's ready for next week. These are gonna be way, great ways to um, accent your own home, to give us to friends and family, give us shower gifts and everything. So we hope you'll join us. You can purchase monthly, or you can just, once again, just purchase it for the year. You'll automatically get your patterns and clues. And then every breakfast club, we will reveal what our kit looks like. Our kit for the next month, I'm actually doing two versions of it. So we'll show you two completely different color options um, that you can do with your, um, that you can do with it. So I think it'll be a lot of fun. It is something completely different. The table runners are all regular table runners. This one happens to be 45 inches long. I don't remember the width off the top of my head, but it is probably 18 to 20 inches wide, 45 inches long. So we're not doing square table runners the whole year. It will be a regular uh, table runner. So I think you guys will love it. So guess who's coming to dinner? I hope you guys will join us um, and you guys will uh, take it from there. Once again, something different and something fun. All the kits that we put together for you will be complete with backing. Um, we're not putting batting in there, but it will be your fabric binding and backing, okay? So guess who's coming to dinner? Marissa has put that on the website um, under Mystery Monday, not Mystery Monday. I we have a lot happening for Mystery Monday and I just can't get it out of my um, head there. Al in our breakfast club tab on the website. So what do you guys think of that? Like the idea? Um, hope you guys will join along. And then once again, you can buy the whole year at one time. I think it's like $150 or something like that. Um, and then you get an actual 13th video. Our thought is that we're going to do it in July and we're going to make it a Christmas themed project. Um, but we haven't quite decided where we're going to put that, but we will for sure let you guys know where that is. It's 156 for the year, and then that's all 13 patterns. And then once again, those are all emailed to you every Thursday, the clues, um, along with a short instructional video on how to do um, those, um, each of the clues to complete the table runner. So I think it will be a lot of fun, and it's going to be something different. We're not taking on a great big quilt to do. Um, and it's a great way to bust through your stash um, or buy the kits that you want. Yes. Tracy Dixon said, how much will the kits run? And your answer is 60. Okay, so this kit's like $59.99 is what the kit runs. It is on the website. i just waiting for our graphic to put in here and then I'll seal it. But that also has backing and binding in it. Okay, so... Um, the fabrics will always take three to four fabrics, and they're usually somewhere between a yard and a yard and a half is what it takes 
of each of the fabrics. Um, so that'll kind of give you. So the first month is $60 is the kit. Um, if you guys want to do um, the kit on there. So that will be fun. And thank you for um, that question, Tracy. So the winner today of our show and tell, they are getting the um, 13 patterns for our new guests who's coming to dinner as their prize. So that's a big prize. Normally it's a $20 gift certificate. So the girls are gonna draw that here in a couple of minutes. And I think that um, hopefully you'll really like it. So um, we will see, I'm excited. And once again, that is going to be a fun project. So let's talk about this month's project, okay? Um, this is the last uh, project of 2022. We're already excited for 2023. I get to the shop yesterday morning and the girls are said, this is what we wanna do and that's what we're doing. So. Um, that one has already been developed and our ideas for the year have um, gone through. I will say this also to you. Um, we're going to do a couple of polls coming up um, and we definitely want to know what you guys want to do. And I will give you an example. Right now in embroidery, people are liking a lot of smaller projects. Um, they're not wanting to make the great big huge project. So if there is something you guys are wanting to do or wanting to see us put together for you, you guys can always um, reach out to us and say, hey, we have this idea. You can send me an email. You can send Amy or Marissa an email, message us on Facebook privately, whatever. If you guys come across something and you'd like to see it, we would love to get, we always would love your input on it. All right, so Breakfast Club, as you guys know, there's a pattern and I'm gonna get that down to the side. So we have this really fun blue hash uh, fabric with the white hashes, the mini hashes all over it. We have some yellow. We have some Wonder Under, so Pell on 805. Those of you that are new, just remember the bumpy side is what you fuse on first, and then you peel the release paper before you fuse it on. There is some fusible fleece. I like to use fusible fleece in my smaller projects, things I'm gonna quilt on my own, um, and we do a lot of fusible fleece for table runners instead of batting, as you guys have noticed for the year. We are going to, can you look up really quickly what year Dwarves opened? Um, Tom, somebody in their message to me, um, did you see the cute little sticker on the outside of your guys's um, bag that said naughty or nice and it was checked? Somebody said that they appreciated that we checked them as nice even though they were naughty. So in here also is some Dwarves chews. So those of you that are not local, Dwarves is a candy shop that was established in 19, it, early 1900s. So it is a candy shop. I meant to look this up, so they'll find it. Um, it was 1909. So it has been in, current, in Bakersfield since 1909. It is continued as a family business. So they do candies, they do all homemade ice cream, they do ice melt. So Dwarves Chews, we put Dwarves Chews in there for you. They are the three most popular caramel, peanut butter, and peppermint. So just a little um, local fun um, from us. And then you guys are going to have some orange fabric. You guys have some white fabric. We have some more yellow fabric. And then we have um, some black fabric. And then we have a bag of embellishments in there. All right. So that is all of the components. Um, <laughs> that's all the components of our project. Christy said, <laughs> I love it. So Christy, who is local, she says, if I had known there were dwarves in there, I would have risked the chopping of my hands to open it. So I have always said, if you open up your breakfast club before um, breakfast club and ruin the surprise for anybody, I'm going to chop your hands off. So Christy, I just wanted you to have a nice treat during your weekend after the crazy week that you uh, had um, at work this week. So our breakfast club, our final breakfast club project of 2022 is our 
snowman table topper and I am obsessed with him. So this um, obviously is a piece snowman. It is made in three rows. So you'll make four snowman faces and then you're just going to add two setting triangles to two sides, a center block on the middle, and then you will make it you can change this up and do your snowmans in a row. You can do whatever you want with it. Just know on your backing, it is uh, your backing for your kit is for this sized project. Um, we went back and forth on the back of your um, pattern is the snowman nose uh, shape. So there is the orange fabric in there. But then Amy and I came across these snowman buttons and we went back and forth and we decided to put snowman buttons and then button eyes in there. So there is your final Breakfast Club of 2022 um, snowman table topper. You could put a candle, use it as a candle mat. So we had laid it down and put a candle on it. You could put a vase in it with flowers in the middle of it, all kinds of things. I know um, people are gonna hang it on their walls. So really a fun project and we hope that you guys like it as much as uh, we do. So this snowman table topper will wrap out a full year. Oops. Um, that will wrap out a full year of the um, Breakfast Club project. So really fun. Um, um, we are there. Kathy, we're sorry you missed it, but you can go back and tune in. As a reminder, once we go off of the live, you guys can go back and watch it and get a uh, see what you may have missed, watch the show and tell. So it looks like everybody is really liking it. Um, we hope that you guys are enjoying um, Breakfast Club. We do not have any kits left this month. Um, they, we, they sold out. Um, I think we sold our last one yesterday. Um, normally we have a couple here and there left, but not this month, unfortunately. So there you go. How many days till Christmas, Marissa? Eight days until Christmas. Eight days until Christmas. So that last minute Christmas shopping, once again, come in, send your families in for your gift certificates, uh, go online and buy. We will be shipping all the way through Friday for you guys. Um, I think, oh, Yolanda loves the candle idea. That was a really fun. I think it would be a cute thing to do. This pattern design, we may do some more of these for some other projects because it really is a nice little centerpiece. You can put a candle, you can put a vase in there. So um, when we were talking about that, um, that was one of the things that we came up with. Um, so the knot bag, all of the patterns that we do in Breakfast Club are exclusive to Breakfast Club and we do not release them again. Okay. Yes. Why you sign <laughs> Which as Marissa says is why you should sign up for Breakfast Club because you never know if you're going to miss out. Um, so the knot bag pattern is not available. It may be available in two or three years if we use it for something else, but we retire these patterns. We create them for the exclusivity of Breakfast Club. Should we give away some prizes? I think we should give away some prizes. Um, the first thing that we are going to give away is going to be a year subscription to Breakfast Club. And the people in that drawing or people that have purchased the kit um, for Breakfast Club. And the winner is Donna Anderson. Donna Anderson. So congratulations, Donna. Donna is here local to Bakersfield. So congratulations, Donna. <clears throat> I don't know if you're on or not, but you do not have to do anything. Amy will get you taken care of, but we'll make sure that you know. So congratulations to Donna. And then our next prize that we're going to give away is going to be a one year subscription. So you'll get all of the patterns and all of the uh, short videos on how to do our Guess Who's Coming to Dinner mystery program. And that winner goes to um, the, sh the drawing for that is who sent in show and tell for this month. The winner of that is Amy. Margie Williams. So congratulations, Margie. Margie is, I never, I want to say she's in Mariposa, but she might be further north than that. I cannot for sure remember. Congratulations, Margie. Um, we will get you the information and you will be part of our 
Uh, guess who's coming to dinner? Mystery Table Runners for 2023. It's a program that we are really excited about. I want to just take a minute here and thank you guys for always joining us at Breakfast Club, joining us on our Mystery Monday group, our Tipsy Tuesday groups, our live sales, things that we have done in person. Last year we did embroidery, or this year we've done an embroidery retreat. We've done a paper piecing retreat. We have a paper piecing retreat coming up in March. We are putting together um, an embroidery retreat that the details are about done. We will be teaching that on the road. So we'll be teaching that here in Bakersfield. We will be teaching that in Lake Havasu. Um, and we will be teaching that in some other places that we are working out. We are also working on a sewing and quilting retreat. So we're not just going to do a paper piecing retreat and an embroidery retreat. We are also going to do a retreat with projects that are all sewing and quilting related, where we will lead you through three and a half days of fun. So stay tuned for those details. Um, did I miss any graphics? Oh, so Breakfast Club, January 21st. So our first Breakfast Club of 2023 is January 21st. You can go on and purchase your subscription and then Amy will automatically put you into each month. You can go in and purchase um, individual Breakfast Club however you want. And then we also have the six month subscription. As a reminder, if you purchase the year subscription for Breakfast Club, you pay for 10 months, you get 12, all 12 months. Um, that is our little bonus. So we're really excited about the things that 2020 um, is 2023 is going to bring us. It has been a lot of changes. We have gone back and forth of where we want to go, what we want to do. We know and how important all of you are um, that are out of town and also local. Um, but our virtual business has just exploded. So we're going to do everything we can to bring as much to you guys as possible in 2023. New and improved um, summer class pass. Guess who's coming to dinner mystery of the month? Of course, breakfast club and then several other things that we have up our sleeve for you guys. Remember that we have a Tipsy Tuesday Facebook group. That is a private group that you can join. We also have a Mystery Monday, which is uh, based around uh, machine embroidery that you guys can join. Um, invite your friends. Of course, we post that on Facebook quite often. I hope you guys have a fantastic uh, rest of your day. Thank you for spending part of it with us. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year's. Happy Holidays. Um, thank you for being a part of us, for supporting us, um, encouraging us, and just being part of our Thimbletown family. We hope you guys have a great day and we will see you in 2023. Have a good day, everybody.